Harry's wife. You lack magic. Not words that Harry's wife wants to hear, but it gets even worse for her. As per the Daily Express and an article by Karen McGrath, Lauren Welch and Catherine Mayer Funnel, mm, takes three of them to write it, it would appear, Harry and Harry's wife lack magic and can't compete with William and Kate. Such a suggestion, naturally, is going to bring on the ignited fury of Harry's wife as a consequence of the fact that she believes that she is the best, and any suggestion that she is inferior to the nemesis is always going to be met with rejection, disdain, and fury. Harry's wife and Prince Harry have been warned their lack of magic since relocating to the United States means they can no longer compete with the Prince and Princess of Wales and other UK royals. I would go further than to say that it is a lack of magic. I would say that it is a consequence of being a talent-free zone, a pair of perpetual wengers, two individuals that are infected with the victim mentality, albeit for different reasons. I would suggest that it's because she is a one-trick phony, and that people have become sick and tired of the repeated victim mentality and the suggestion that it's everybody else's fault. She is a charisma-free zone. Harry does have some, albeit that has become eroded as a consequence of his connection with her. There's been the cross-pollution of her lack of magnetism and charisma onto him. Her failure and inability to compete is as a consequence of her lack of ability herself, her poor behaviours, and then the fact, for instance, that Catherine is a magnetic individual, that she embraces the concept of service, that she is empathic and her behaviour towards other people meets with admiration and approval. So it's not only the case of Harry's wife being generally useless and unpleasant, but the fact that Catherine and William are very good at what they do, thus leading to them being poles apart. The article continues by explaining the Sussexes have been chastened in recent weeks after it was revealed Netflix has pulled the plug on Harry's wife's Spotify podcast. Well, that's not quite accurate, was it? It wasn't Netflix that did it, it was Spotify. So the three people that wrote this article couldn't even get that right. And the couple are thought to be pondering their next move as they look for projects to keep them busy. Or rather, it's not about keeping themselves busy, but getting money, that all-important residual benefit. Royal expert Tessa Dunlop said the pomp and circumstance afforded US President Joe Biden during his recent visit to the United Kingdom indicated there remained a huge appetite for all things royal on both sides of the Atlantic. And she suggested it was the ceremonial aspect which Harry and Harry's wife were now unable to muster. She explained... Surrounded by pomp and ceremony, the visit was a reminder that the trappings of royalty are what sets it apart, and the absence of those trappings is what the Duke and Duchess of Sussex sorely lack. Miss Dunlop, a historian who has presented several shows for the BBC, Channel 4 and others, told the Mirror, Surrounded by pomp and ceremony, the visit was a reminder that the trappings of royalty are what sets it apart, and the absence of those trappings is what Duke and Duchess, what the Duke and Duchess of Sussex so sorely lack. Hmm. Again, three writers causing them to repeat what they've said in the earlier paragraph in the following paragraph. Editorial standards are slipping at the express. The article continues with the continuation of a quote from Miss Dunlop, who states, After all, no matter how great your celebrity, and yes, despite what disgruntled Spotify bosses say, the couple are still big news, in America, there will always be someone richer and more famous. She added, Over there, fame is commonplace. Not so the magic and mystery that comes with monarchy. And, as the Sussex are discovering to their cost, royalty doesn't travel well. Abdicated Edward VIII found this out in the late 1930s. To really flourish, more than titles and money are required. Harry, 
barefoot in a beanie, can't compete with William in full-blown honorary military uniform, Harry's wife in Fridge by Valentino, or Givenchy is less noteworthy than the Princess of Wales in her Lover's Not Tiara, once Diana's, and badge of the Royal Victorian Order. Condemnation there for Harry and Harry's wife by explaining that they can't compete and that they lack magic. Harry's wife won't accept that. She thinks that she is magical. She thinks that she is special. She thinks that she is marvellous. Were she to come across this description of her and Harry as lacking magic, she'll reject it because her narcissism will not allow to absorb the criticism that comes her way. Notwithstanding the fact that there's plenty of evidence to support this proposition, her narcissism will blind her to it, and instead cause her to lash out at Harry, because he's in the sustained devaluation, to tell him that he's the problem, that he's the one that's lacking the magic, which is therefore causing a problem for them with the perception of other people about them. But it is the case that that magic is available to them, perhaps amongst other people. Are there supporters, ones that still see that they exhibit this magic? Perhaps it's the case that the general public feel that there is a degree of magic about them. Well, a quick dive below the line tells us, Bromfayettes writes, Doubt it. If this couple would have behaved differently, i.e. sorted their problems out within the family, and pursued their life without any proven lies, moaning, whining, vengeance, they would still be regarded as, I would say, a caring couple. Their, or her, political ambitions are non-existence, non-existing. Their reputation is down the drain. His memoirs are laughable, her podcast stopped, Pearl stopped, the limelight attention-seeking number not appreciated. The car chase story, unbelievably stupid. Her 40 by 40 project, no success. Awards are rumoured to be bought. Receiving one claiming to have fought against racism with the royal family eventually being denied by Harry. Having the audacity not to return this award or even accepting it. Going for a meal you need photographers. The documentary based on pretentious lines taken from other events. The mocking of our late queen. Not going to see his seriously ill grandfather. Not even bothering to attend the, his memorial. While in the United Kingdom, not bothering visiting his fragile grandma. Endless discussions to see with others. Waiting to take scheduled flights. Moaning, whining, blaming the royal family for apparent leaked stories. But simultaneously acting like sulking kids. Leaking events or nasty insults towards his family. There are still some obsessed cheerleaders around who have not figured them out yet, so in the case they are now questioning what has happened. Interested reader states, For me and I expect a lot of other people here and in the United States, our respect, admiration, call it what you like, comes far more from clothes, ceremonies, etc. It comes from how a person behaves. It comes from seeing someone put others before themselves, doesn't come from listening to someone who has so much more than others whining and publicly bad-mouthing friends and family and describing their lies as truth, or their truth, or misinterpretation. This remains the fundamental problem for Harry's wife. It's her behaviour. But it also combines with the fact that she's so lacking. You see, let's take Elton John, for example. He's very much prone to diva-like behaviour, having a baby strop, shouting at people, lashing out. But people tolerate it. Why? Because he's a brilliant performer that has performed for decades, entertains millions of people, and therefore they are prepared to put up with the diva strops because, quite simply, it's worth it to enjoy his performances, to see him perform. And, of course that people benefit from being around him by virtue of the money that he generates. However, with Harry's wife, tolerating her bullying behind the scenes, her tantrums, her sulks, her falling to the floor and sobbing, well, all of that is not set off by anything else. She's not brilliant. She's not a performer. She's not exciting. 
So the problem that she has is that many people would give her a pass if they recognized that she was a superstar. In a way, many people put up with the behavior because they expect it of a superstar. Take Mariah Carey, regularly perceived as a diva. She's a narcissist also, as I've explained before. But people tolerate her because she's such an excellent performer. So she can get away with many of the behaviors. Harry's wife can't. She suffers from the double whammy of bad behavior and not having any magic. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.